Hello, Capricorn viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's pretty much just whatever the cards want to say. Um, as always, I do private readings. So if this resonates with you and you want to book a private reading, just send me an email at dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That is right below in the description box. We've got Eight of Cups reversed, the Sun, the Page of Swords, the King of Swords. Temperance card. The Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody is coming forward. Like they don't want to move on from this, but I feel like they're coming forward in a very strange way. Like they're not being fully vulnerable with you. Like they're coming forward as a king or queen of swords type like they're finding that balance it's like they they're very prideful it's like they don't want to lose you but they know they need to communicate with you but they don't want to say too much it's like they're still kind of playing it cool knight of pentacles the chariot the ace of swords the knight of swords the nine of wands This does kind of line up with the energy I got a couple weeks ago where I was getting that somebody was spying on you, maybe following you on social media, and they they really admire you. It's, it's like they were following your example. They didn't know, they don't know what love looks like. They don't know what real love looks like. They don't know what a healthy relationship looks like, but they just really admire you. They You taught them what love is. You taught them a different way of being, a different way of of loving, of interacting. Um, you taught them, I mean, just, just by example too, not just when it comes to love, but your personality too, just the way that you live your life, the way that you're open, the way that you see the world. It's very different than what they're used to. And I feel like they're really following you, following your example. They just really have a lot of admiration for you. And, and so it kind of feels like it feels like this person's working on themselves. That's what I was getting in the last reading. That they're they're working on themselves to be good for you, to be the kind of person that you deserve. They're basically kind of they might be reading the things that you um like if you post certain things or if you're if you're on a you know social media if you're just just in public they're just kind of they're just kind of watching you. They're just kind of a uh, you know following your example and they're trying to better themselves. They're trying to be the person that they want to be. But I feel like this person has this awareness that they need to come forward, but it just feels like they're coming forward as a king or queen of swords. It's like they know that they have to say something, but they're still kind of guarded and fearful and they don't quite feel like they're ready. It's it's like they're... They don't want to ask you to wait for them while they do the healing work because they're not sure if you would wait. They're not sure if it's fair to ask you to wait. But it, it just feels like... With the Knight of Pentacles, this is a very slow moving night, but it's very stable. It's very loyal and it's very grounded. And this is that energy that the your person is in right now, where they are, they're trying to do the healing work. They're trying to better themselves. They're they're following your example. They're they're opening their mind up to your perspective. They're they're really they they are putting the work in, but it and it's like they want to move forward. There's clarity and communication, and they want to make this promise to you. They want to, you know, have this loyalty, this integrity. They want to put that work in, but they're just they just don't basically they feel rushed. They feel like they have to say something now, but they don't actually genuinely feel like they're quite ready for you yet, is is kind of what I'm feeling. Six of Swords. But honestly, I mean, this person can still communicate. Like, even if you're not ready for somebody, that's no excuse because you can still communicate. You know, you can still say, hey, like, I do love you. I do want this. I'm just, I'm going through a healing process. I'm working on myself. But, you know, I do want you in my life, even if I'm not quite ready for a commitment. Like, I still, you know, I still want to communicate. I still want to talk. I, 
I want to let you know, I still want to be vulnerable with you. I still want to let you know that you're important to me and that I am putting the work in to be ready for you so we can, we can have something together. You know, letting you know that you're not just wasting your time, that it's not just all... You know, what's that? That Madonna song is coming to mind. Uh, Justify my love. <laughs> Six of swords, ten of wands. Yeah, because part of you is like wanting to move forward because you're like, well, is this person ever like, are they going to work on themselves? Because you're not seeing this. You know what I mean? Like you're feeling like they're working on themselves. You're feeling intuitively like you're channeling and picking up that, you know, they are trying to better themselves, that they are trying to prepare themselves mentally, emotionally, spiritually, maybe even like physically to be in a committed relationship. You know, six of swords, ten of wands, the world. But yeah, some some part of you is also wondering if you should wrap this cycle up because it's like all just kind of it's like you feel like they're they're working on themselves, but you haven't seen a lot of proof. It's just more intuitive or you might be having dreams about this person. the star yeah it's like you're torn between conflicting energies because it's like on one hand you're planting the seeds like you're wanting this but you're you know there's also this defensiveness where you're just like okay is this really gonna happen though is this just in my head is this person really ever gonna come back for for me because you don't want to wait for somebody who hasn't asked you to wait you know what I mean like so I think this person just needs to put their pride aside and they just need to communicate whether they're ready or not. They can at least, you, they, they can at least take that first step. You know what I mean? Like they can at least move things along, even if it's going to, even if it's a work in progress. I feel like they're also, I feel like the star and the five of swords are, is also kind of telling me that they're afraid that you're not going to react well to this energy. Like they're afraid that if they come forward and they're just, um, you know, if they, if they tell you like, Hey, I, I do, I do want something, but I'm not ready. Like it might, you know, it might take me a while, but I actually do see a future with you. I'm just trying to get my finances together, or I'm just trying to, you know, maybe go to counseling be a little bit more mentally stable. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, ready for this. And honestly, I mean, like, I, I respect their decision to an extent, it makes sense. But honestly, nobody's ever ready for love. Like, like, no, you know what I mean? Like, you can't. It's like perfectionism is kind of a form of self sabotage, like nobody's ever actually really just like ready for love, love just kind of happens, you know what I mean? Kind of reminds me of that movie Garden State, honestly, especially the end of the movie. But yeah, some of them are afraid that you're going to be defensive if they come forward with that, if they come forward with that kind of, you know, half-ass energy where they're like, well, you know, I want you in my life, but I'm not ready, but I'm working on being ready. They just don't, even though it's genuine, even though they do feel it, they're just not sure what you're going to say. So they're trying to find that balance because they do know that they need to communicate soon. And they know that they can't just say nothing because you're going to just kind of, you know, fade away from them if that's the case. Patience, perseverance, the empress, the empress, <laughs> the ten of swords. Yeah, I think it's just kind of reiterating what I've been saying when what I've gotten from the other cards. Just it's like they want to put the work in. They want to do this healing work and they want your support while they better themselves and while they get ready for this long term commitment. They're just afraid that you're going to, you know be sitting on your throne and be like, no, nah, I don't have time for this and just shut them down and, and break their heart. So they're kind of like torn, you know what I mean? They're like, okay, do I come back to this person like months down the line when I feel like I'm completely ready? Do I come back now even though I'm not ready? Like, what do I do? Yeah, because you're waiting for the ship to sail in. You're, you know what I mean? Like you've been an Eight of Swords energy, like wondering, is this ever... Like, like you want to escape, you want something, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're kind of tired of this. Like you want, you don't want to spend your life waiting. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to be in this eight of swords energy anymore. Like you don't want to just keep waiting and waiting for this when you don't 
like when you don't know if this person's coming back and I think that's what this person needs to understand too it's, it's like I don't think you're likely to reject them if you're com if they're actually communicating with you I think the issue is them you know doing all this healing work behind the scenes but not making you a part of that healing work you know it's like they're just trying to it's like they're just leaving you out of everything they're they're not making you a part of their life they're leaving you out of this whole healing process so it's it's like i think i think you would be open to it if they were honestly communicating with you if they were just if they were to just come forward and say you know i have a lot of work to do on myself but i do love you or i do you know have feelings for you and i i do want this you know, I do want to build something long term with you. Can you just be patient with me? I have a lot of traumas I'm working through. Just like letting you in, being vulnerable, being open with you, like telling you what they're going through, I think would go a really long way. I feel like that would make a, lo a lot of progress in, in the connection between the two of you. So I think they're kind of misunderstanding the energy in that aspect. It's like they're they're just not realizing that if they were to just be forward with you, you would be open to them. You would be patient with them. But it's really hard to be patient with somebody who's like just shutting you out and being in like king or queen of swords energy, not communicating that they're doing the healing work, not communicating what they're going through. You have no idea what's really going on in their life. Like you don't know for sure if they're doing the healing work or if, if it's just in your head and you just feel like they are like you don't really know what's going on. You know, some of you are having to like keep doing readings to like tap in to find out what's going on. And you're kind of tired of that. You're like, I don't want to have to watch readings or do my own readings. Like I want you to just tell me what's going on with you. I want that open, honest, consistent communication, you know. Um, so I think some of them just, yeah, they need to, they need to recognize that, that they don't have to jump right in, but they do need to be open and honest and, and communicate and let you in on the healing process and work through those things with you, you know, what's their most likely next, uh, course of action towards you? Seven of wands, knight of wands, six of pentacles. Standing their ground, but they're also wanting to come forward and balance this out. Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, I also feel like they kind of sense the shift in your energy where you're in this more of like queen of swords, queen of wands energy, male or female, either way. But they they see that you're more focused on yourself. You're more focused on like you've just you you love this person very deeply. But I think that you've just really gotten gotten tired of waiting. You've gotten really kind of bored and just tired of the lack of communication, the lack of clarity. You're you're tired of being left in the dark. You're tired of not knowing if this what this person's doing, who they're with, what's going on in their life. It's like you you just you you just feel like there's just no clarity and you're tired of that and so I feel like some of you are focusing more on just yourself more on um like you're stronger than you were before you're you're not you know what I mean like you're 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 not opening to this as much anymore you're you're putting yourself first more and I feel like this person's wanting to come forward as like a a, a king of cups type before you get too deep into this energy and you just don't even open up to them but it feels like they're more likely to come as like more of a king of swords type to be honest yeah they do want to build with you long term they do want something long term with you i am feeling that the issue is they just need to figure out how to put that into words Because like I said, I feel like there's that miscommunication where it's like you don't you, you don't mind waiting like you're a patient person. You don't mind waiting for this person and you don't mind going through that healing process with them. You just don't want to be left alone anymore. You don't want to be left in the dark. You don't want to be confused about, you know, what's going on in this person's life. Like you want that consistent communication. You want to go through this process with them. 
Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Justice. Some of you have financial justice coming in too. Like, um, like you're focusing on other things and I feel like those things might end up being very profitable for you. Like maybe like a hobby or passion that you're putting some investments into that are going to end up going well for you. But let's just get a few more cards or so on um, what's, what's this person likely to do next towards you. Page of Cups, so a love message. A love message, but it's it's still hold, still with their walls up unfortunately nine of swords they and it's uh, let's see sorry <laughs> give me a second king of wands six of wands three of cups for some it might be a social invitation as well they might want to get together with you maybe something casual as well we've got like six of wands three of cups like they just want to catch up um yeah, it's kind of like they don't want to let you get away. Like, they don't want you to, to stray too far away from them because they know if they take too long and they come back around, you might be like, well, like, what the hell? You haven't talked to me in months. I'm already done, you know? Um, so it's like they want to send this love message, but they're still going to be kind of guarded. They're still being kind of guarded because they're having anxiety, sleepless nights, worries, anxiety, because they see that you're single, you're independent, and you're living your best life. You're not focusing on them anymore. You're not, even if you love them, you're still focusing on yourself more than you were before. You know, you're still focusing on career, hobbies, passions, self-improvement, just whatever makes you happy, really. Um, and, and so it's like, that's kind of giving them anxiety because they're like, damn, like I'm trying to work on myself and then come back when I'm, when I feel ready, when I feel mentally stable. But what if they're already like long over me by that, the time that comes? So I feel like you might get a love message for them, but again, there's still going to be that little bit of distance there, not really saying what needs to be said. Um, they are wanting this new start. There might be like a casual inv invitation to go somewhere to hang out. But, um, I feel like you guys just need to communicate. Honestly, I feel like, I feel like that part of the issue is, and you're not to blame for this at all. I'm not saying that, but I feel like part of the issue is just that they don't, they don't realize that they can come to you and, and you'll still be supportive and patient with them. They don't realize that they could, it, it's like, you just want to know that you're not wasting your time. You just, you know what I mean? Like you don't, it's, it's not that you're, it's not that you have an issue with being patient. You don't have an issue with waiting. You, you have an issue with, um, not knowing if you're really waiting for somebody who loves you and wants to build with you, or are you just waiting for somebody who's just going to forget about you and just go be with somebody else? Like, that's your issue is you don't want to be left in the dark anymore. You want clarity. You want consistency. You want communication. Even if it takes them a while to heal, you want to be in their life through that. You want to be part of that process you want them to be able to be open and vulnerable with you and communicate those things with you and you know do you know progress together like build t t something together basically even if it takes some time for them to you know go through this process you know so so I think they just it's it's like they just need to realize that it's it's you know leaving you in the dark leaving you confused is not it's not going to go well it's not the way to be um, some of you might end up just getting, you know, some of you are at that point where you're like, well, maybe I should give up on this no matter how much I love this person. Like maybe they're, you know, if there's been no communication for a while, some of you are like, well, you know, yeah, I think they're healing. Yeah. I think they want to come back, but maybe that's just in my head. I don't know for sure. You know, like some of you are kind of torn, you're conflicted. You're like, is this, is this person even just, do they even actually love me? Like you just, you don't know. There's such a lack of clarity. But, but yeah, I think that, I think that really, you know, I think that these are things that need to be like discussed or they need to be at least some, someone needs to get the ball rolling here basically is what I'm feeling. Even if you don't just dive right in and say everything all at once, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, maybe for some of you, that's the way to, way to go. But for others, I just feel like it's, it's something needs to, to get started here. There's the, the communication needs to, um, get moving here. And they, they really need that clarity. They need to know that it is that you will hold space for them. You will be patient and loving and supportive as long as they're openly communicating with you. 
and you know that, um, you know, the love, the feelings are mutual, that, you know, that they do want you in their life, that you are important to them, that you're not just, you know, waiting for nothing just to be left out in the cold. You know what I mean? Like you just need that clarity. So I think once they realize that, you know, you will actually be patient with them, I think that's going to help them be let you in and open up and, and tell you about the healing process a little more and let you be a part of that healing journey for them. Um, but it, it's just a matter of, of you guys giving each other that clarity. So anyway, I hope this helps. Like I said, if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. And please comment if it resonates. Please subscribe as well. I'll be doing these regularly. So thank you guys for watching.